Hi there, listener. You're about to experience Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games, and there will be plenty of game talk, but also copious amounts of crude, off-color, offensive, and immature speech. So if you are of a rather sensitive humor constitution, we're just letting you know what you're in for with this show. It has games. It has jokes. You know, just games and jokes. Take the games, take the jokes, and have a good time. Hello, Internet, and welcome to another Tadpog podcast. It's a show that happens twice a week where two old guys and two very nice people have driven a long way to help us bring you a, a hotly contested game. Yeah. Talk about old games. Too so, hot for PSN. Too hot. Too hot. <laughs> so, first first time in the studio, Archive is Corn and Yarn Soul, Soul Sister. Sister Yarn Sorceress. <laughs> the SSYS. Chandra. <Sandra. laughs> welcome, welcome to the show, guys. How's it going? Thanks for coming up. Yeah, thanks, yeah, no for, thanks, thanks for, for having us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> because then Dave told me, like, they want to come up and do Guitaru Man. Mm. I was like, oh, okay, well then... That that settles that debate. Which, which debate? Who would be, <laughs> who would be on, be on Guitar, Guitar Man? <laughs> well, like the deal is, Archivist Corn is the Rhythm Master. <laughs> he is the Rhythm Master. Mm-hmm. And I will challenge anybody in the Tab Fog Nation. If anybody can beat me, then I will give them some money. I'm not. Uh, I'll, I'll put. Up, I'll figure out some later. But I'm that confident in my skills. One dollar in pennies. If they could yeah. beat you at, just at any any rhythm game or. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll throw that out there. All right, that you'll get fifty dollars to the Patreon. <laughs> Anyone can be. <laughs> Let's be real, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you saw me play. That, that's not a thousand dollars to the Patreon. <laughs> Wiley's really scared right now. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, no one challenge him. No one challenge him. Because <laughs> I knew. Because. I mean, Guitar Man won. I know Meg loves this game. I knew she would want to talk about it. Josh loves this game. Miller, God, Miller has a raging boner for this game. <laughs> and, I know Ramon likes it. And then the one who owned the copy right. I played, Ramon. So, but like, you guys want to do that? And you traveled to come do it. So, I mean, automatically you win. And <laughs> here's the, another thing I was thinking about is like, Ramon, Ramon had to travel away a ways too, but Ramon knows we're not going to murder him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I you mean, guys took a big risk. We uh, could, you could have been like hanging off the hooks right now. But I mean, for all you know, like so long as I got to record from the hook, I think <laughs> I would, you know, just, we could have started a podcast just to have people come on. <laughs> Welcome to Hookcast, and then we murder them. That's what we've changed the annex twice. Yeah, so was, when Megalixer came on, we killed both of them. We killed Sam and Joe, buried them each a different annex, and now we have the third one. The podcasts are the clues oh, yeah. that you leave to the police, like, <laughs> yeah. like, like the BTK killer. Just, just, <laughs> just for the extra listen, the, the detective has to like go through all the episodes. <laughs> We're hoping that by he re- by the time he reaches the end, he's like, you know what? I kind of like these guys. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna arrest them. Man, is, they're gonna stop if I arrest them. Shit. <laughs> If they keep it at a low enough rate of murder, I think this is acceptable. <laughs> we only murder prostitutes and and gamers and faithful that listeners. <laughs> we need to have more prostitutes on the show. I have been following a lot of porn stars on Twitter. It's good. So I'm it's hoping fun. that one of them just one day will be like, "Hey, I listen to your show. Can I be on it?" <laughs> Oh. I'd really like to talk to you guys about my butthole. I've, I've heard you guys talk about your buttholes a lot. I'd like to share my opinion. Talk about my cast. nightmarishly elastic butthole. <laughs> but before we break down into more Guitar Man things, I'm your bearded host, Tyler. And I actually, the other day, went to my mom's and got my box of child memories out of her attic. Shit. Oh, uh, yeah? So right now, I have a... A letter to Santa Claus that I wrote. Okay, good. <laughs> if I can read it. <laughs> this sounds adorable and or horrifying. I, I believe, judging from my handwriting, <laughs> this was probably 1990. 
Dear Santa, <laughs> my wiener's hard, and I don't know why. <laughs> Dear Every Santa. morning I wake up, my wiener is really hard. All three inches of my wiener is so hard. I tried pushing it. Cries. it. <laughs> Dear Santa, I never thought this would happen to me. <laughs> Dear, followed by eight dashes. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Dear <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> I hate that you dot pass our house, Santa. I like you too. I, I like presets and rah. Hmm. Should have tried reading this first before we start the podcast. No, no, this no, is good this radio. Is good. Yeah, this is good radio. I like, like presets and rock hard cocks. <laughs> rock. I'll, I'll, and rough even sets. as a kid, I was, <laughs> even as a, co- a child, I was self-actualized. I knew what I wanted. <laughs> and rock, rock Doff too. I don't know. And your elves and your little, Rudolph. Rudolph, you like Rudolph? Maybe uh, it's not uh, capitalized. Okay. Granted, uh, words that shouldn't be capitalized uh, are. So I don't think I knew the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rock du- rock D off too. I don't. I have no clue. And your, and I guess I was trying to be Shakespearean because I spelled your Y O R. Your elves and your little lady. I was a fan of his, la- his lady <laughs> and his elves. You're buttering up at this point, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You like that, Mrs. Claus? <laughs> I would a punchin p u c h e n. Punching bag, nice, and okay. a computer, all caps, caps. <laughs> takes up two lines. Computer, and and a computer games, <laughs> and and a printer, and a rose can set, rose cassette. Um, Kiss by a Rose cassette. Kiss by a Rose. <laughs> That's where my head was going. I was trying to remember. I a line was thinking from a cassette it. of Amy Rose from the Sonic games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is pre Amy shit. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and let's see, a Doom Hammer. <laughs> Doom Canyon of a Ninja Turtle figures. Is there a Ninja Turtle named Doom Canyon? <laughs> <laughs> if not, there should be. <laughs> is that where the Technodrome is stuck? In the Doom Canyon. That's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe you just wanted a canyon full of Ninja Turtles. And You're I, just making up toys. I, don't, <laughs> well, I knew how to spell turtle. I don't think I knew how to spell ninja because I put N-I-N and just some scribbles. <laughs> I don't think I knew how to spell ninja because I just wrote a racial slur. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it, is, it is the South. I probably didn't know. That's what my dad called them, that turtle. You know? Oh, jeez. Figures, F-I-G-R-N-S, figures, and a Nintendo. Fill my stocking. Put the Nintendo on the TV. <laughs> Santa Claus, I don't want to hook that shit up. Just do it for me. It's like you're sitting in a chair with the light. (laughs) The light on Santa Claus. You're just giving directions. Doom Canyon Turtle and the Nintendo on the TV. It's like telling the hooker where to leave the money. Exactly. (laughs) Bend over, Santa Claus. Put the Nintendo on the TV and the games... On the Nintendo, put the games on the TV, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like a hostage I, negotiation. No thank now. yous. No, like, who it's from. So your mom got that. Santa sh- Claus, you put the games <laughs> on the Nintendo, and then the rest of the games on the TV, too. <laughs> your mom got that, and she was like... All right, so socks? <laughs> you have socks? I, I, I never got a computer, ever. So she's like, nope. To this nope, day. That was right out. <laughs> Next year, you send a finger to let them know you're serious. Santa Claus, I'm waiting on computer. I've got a really long one I, I'll probably say from 1993 <laughs> entitled The Reasons I Love My Family. Fam, family, actually. Family. Did they stop wearing your clothes? <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Internet? I'm Dave. I'm your bespectacled host. And I knew that Archivist Corn was going to come with a really good 
intro story, so I just didn't bother. I just didn't fucking bother. <laughs> I barely thought about it. Um, the only thing I was like no this pressure. this week, I was like, yeah, it'll be fine, Paul. I'm sure whatever I'm sure whatever story you you tell will be great. Uh, I need a new I need a new Steam nickname because my my nickname on Steam is Ein Dad. And Ein was my dog. He's been dead for like over a year. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I've been playing Civ Five, of course, with Josh Time Lord Josh Edwards, mm. as I mentioned earlier. And it's like every time it's my turn, I'm just reminded that my dog died a year ago. So it's like I probably need another name. And some motherfucker has Pops Ghostly. I so. know. I, I was gonna go <laughs> Pops Ghostly, and then like I did a search, and I was like, there he is, and he did. He got the screen grab of Pops Ghostly, and his his bios all Pops Ghostly. This fucker. <laughs> <laughs> So make yours the real Pop Ghostly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Done. Done. All I'm right. Pop's Ghostly. Yes, I'm the real Pop Ghostly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who all these pretenders are. I think in there. Coming out. No, no, no. Oh, man. But that's like, you. Rem- of course, you remember the real Ghostbusters. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You remember the, how? The, the first Ghostbusters, n- pre-Proton Packs, no, like the, that ca- Ghostbusters? The car- well, the cartoon called the real Ghostbusters. Did, that, okay. did you ever notice that? They used to bug the shit out of me as a kid. I was uh-huh. like, uh-huh. Of course they're the real Ghostbusters. I mean, Egon's blonde, so maybe they're not real <laughs> Ghostbusters, but I mean, I get it. Because well, there was that cartoon that came before that yeah. called Ghostbusters. Right, then yeah. like a fucking gorilla or something I mean, like that. I remember I saw it for the first time, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, it's like you found that out like when you were like in your 20s yeah. or something. Like, no, I was a little I kid didn't. when I saw a VHS oh, of it. See, I was I like, never what is this? And what's yeah, but he didn't understand <laughs> until he was in his 20s and f- found that BuzzFeed article. Mm. You know? Were they just <laughs> like, was Dan Aykroyd just like, yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, there's a Ghostbusters, but I'm just going to use it anyway. Or like, did the, <laughs> did the gorilla Ghostbusters come in after the fact and then somehow mm. just a completely evaded legal action? Dan Aykroyd, we know you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> please, let us, us know. I, I mean, call like in with your crazy Google is, exists or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure this isn't well documented on like <laughs> on 152 sites on the internet, but um, we need to get Dan Aykroyd to call in with his crazy <laughs> UFO theories and all that shit. You know, just, yeah, apparently he writes yeah. like, that's like, a thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's <laughs> he's a real weird conspiracy theory guy. Actually, <laughs> awesome. I used to like when I worked at Blockbuster. There was a DVD of uh, Dan Aykroyd on aliens, or or was it UFOs? It, it was aliens or UFOs. And apparently it's just him They're talking the at the camera <laughs> really? about his crazy theories mm. <laughs> about whether or not there's extra extraterrestrial life and maybe his enemies list. Was it like <laughs> maybe an Andy Kaufman thing where he was just like, I'm going to play this completely straight for an hour and 45 minutes. I'm just going to talk say, about aliens. I would say he's really committed to the bit if yeah. that's not the case. I've heard from multiple sources that he's weird. You yeah, know, like I heard like his... Really book. bolstering his case for coming on the show. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Dan, do you mind talking about your butthole? <laughs> I mean, he probably was. It's, oh, it's got to be part of the conspiracy theory, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. I cut you off, Shandra. Did you have something to No, add? I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm one of your guest hosts, Paul Korn, uh, and uh, when I knew that I was doing this episode, I knew that it was going to be about a rhythm game. And uh, rhythm games have been a big thing that I've done for a really long time. And I started You're thinking, the rhythm master. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, I had that title since I was like 15. Um, but the the thing that I decided, I, I, I decided I'd think back to when I first became aware of rhythm games. And uh, I was able to kind of trace it back to when I was about, I was either 13 or 14. And uh, we had the internet at my house, but I was fairly certain that it was being constantly monitored because I'm just a paranoid little kid. So I wouldn't search for anything, you know, untoward or anything like that. And so the way that I got off, it, I would, uh, when everybody, <laughs> <laughs> this is a very much a Tadpog story. Good, um, good, good. But uh, w- when everybody in the house went to bed, I would go down into the basement. We had a TV in the office down there and uh, I would... <laughs> I would, we didn't have like Showtime or Cinemax or anything like that. So I would flip it over to E and uh, yeah. late, uh, late night on E. Yeah, they would I know have, that. I know that. <laughs> late night on E, they had uh, Wild On. 
you know, yeah. which, you know. What is that? A Ibiza. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's like, it's supposedly a travel show, you okay. know, but it's, oh, it's okay. masturbation yeah, yeah, yeah. fodder for 13-year-olds. Okay. Because, you know, it's just like, Rio has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, and those beaches have some of the most beautiful topless women you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch. Basically, you know, like, that, just the nipples pixelated out. You can yeah. see, like, the entire it, fake Yeah, boobs, it was so. it was pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to lie. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm... I'm w- I'm very well versed in cloud on. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, I would watch that, and uh, you know, so in between, uh, they had an episode in Japan, and in between a segment on hentai and like some <laughs> club foam party where a bunch of people took off their shirts for some reason, you know, like they had a segment where they were at an arcade, and they had, you know, I'm like mid stroke, and, <laughs> and, and they show this guy playing Dance Dance Revolution, and I'm like, what is this sort of? <laughs> Meanwhile, I am just pounding it because I haven't because I haven't managed to finish yet. You know? Switch <laughs> flipped immediately. Exactly. exactly. So I am I am positive that you know my psychosexual development is somehow tied into rhythm games, and that's why I can't get away from that genre. That's why I can't you know? get off. Yes, exactly. It explains so much. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, that's that's. That's where I can't. It, that's. Did you come or what? what oh, trust me, I can't. <laughs> Why do you make me beatbox every time we have sex? <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's where I started playing. Uh, well, that was the first time I saw a rhythm game or was introduced to the concept. I feel uh, I feel like Parappa the Rapper had been out for a couple of years at that point, but I hadn't mm. played it yet. I didn't know anybody with a PS One at the time. But uh, <laughs> but I was very interested. And then a couple of years later, uh, they got the original Dance Dance Revolution that had like 15 songs on it or something at uh, Jillian's in the Aubrey Mills Mall. And I saw this guy. That, Immediately erect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> like full, full staff. Like the kind you can just cut glass. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, like, I, I see this guy that looks like he's going to go to a rave or something dancing on it. Like, he's playing Butterfly on Medium. And I'm just like, holy shit, it's happening. You know, just, uh, <laughs> and, you know, this guy, he's he's got, like, spiked up green hair. He's got piercings all over his face. He's wearing Jinko jeans. And, uh, Classic. Yeah, exactly. You know, like. So 90s. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and, and t- I. I swear, like, uh, as I look back on it, I'm like, that can't be right. But I would swear to you that he was wearing a chain shirt. You know, like, it was <laughs> like, probably just a oh, mesh I've, shirt. No, I've seen, but, I've seen that shit. No, that's, that's, that's a real thing. I've seen that before. Yeah, but, you It's know, awful. Like, Renaissance <laughs> Fair? Like, he just came no, from I've seen, or? like... I've seen like a guy who had like a chain shirt and his chain wallet, and I've seen yeah, I've, no, that's that is a thing. That yeah, is a so, thing. so be I horrible see, on your nipples and like body hair. I yeah, can't fucking yeah, imagine. that sounds terrible. But uh, mm-hmm. you know, I see this guy play, and I get up there, and I'm not very good at that point because this is the first time I played you know a rhythm game. I was just you were just a rhythm I, apprentice. Yeah, exactly. You've, you've, <laughs> at this point, you'd only masturbated to rhythm games. <laughs> <laughs> rhythm masturbator. Yes, yes, nailed it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so I, I get get up there and uh you know i turn around when i'm done you know because i i feel like i need this guy's approval or something <laughs> and he's gone you know and so and i never saw him again you know i uh, someone that distinct i thought i would have seen you know at some other arcade at some point but i never ran into him again and so i am thoroughly convinced that at some point down the line i'm gonna run into this guy like 20 years later he's not going to have aged a day and he's going to challenge me or something otherwise like I'm not going to get my wife back or something you know like the, like there's going to be a kidnapping and ransom involved and it's going to be a crazy action movie all all built around Dance Dance Revolution Paul like, we've got a special surprise for you now. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Robbie come out <laughs> man probably will be that guy's name <laughs> that guy, that's good <laughs> But yeah, those those two little snippets, that's about as interesting as I can get for an intro story. Awesome. So. That's good. It's way better than me. <laughs> what you got, Chandra? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Hey, sorry for like mispronouncing your name like for the better half of a year. <laughs> it's all right. Like, to be fair, like everyone says my name a different way. <laughs> so I've never it used to bother me. It doesn't anymore. Yeah. I'm just at that point, like the place I work at, I've heard Chandra, Cassandra, Chandra. Um, everything but my name, Chandra. <laughs> Every vari- variation. And like they're 
they're all right. Kind not at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I just respond to all of them. But yeah, I, I don't have an intro story because I didn't originally plan on being on the mic. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of one of those things where it was like, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. like that thirty minutes ago, I was like, hey, you're gonna record, right? Just like, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gone and Meg's going to bed, so yeah. I guess I will. You got the really important role. You've got you. Uh, you said this yourself. You got the John Turley role. Tonight. Yes, I do. Except I'm not getting drunk. I don't drink so. I was about to I say, can, I could just pour you like six shots of Fireball and you can John Turley real quick. I'll, do, I'll drink with you. We, we can do shots. <laughs> just give me a bottle of wine and I'll probably be all right. You are soul sister. <laughs> you are, yeah. Oh, um, man. I've got Everclear and grape juice. That's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, pretty close, close to enough. wine. As long as it's sweet, I'll probably drink it. <laughs> no, yeah, like I have no idea what about Guitar Room Man. Because you haven't played it. Never played it. Um, I've heard of it. I assume it has something to do with guitars. Man. <laughs> Get, guitar roos. Yeah, yeah. Men and possibly kangaroos. Okay. Well, this is really good because like, you've got the great role where you can be like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Because <laughs> like most, I'm willing to bet that most of our listeners probably probably haven't played Guitar Room Man because no. it's kind of it's, it's a cult. Con- it's yeah, a cult yeah. Classic. It did yeah. Have like a big I heard print of it. run originally over in the states, and it's kind of a rare game. I heard about yeah. it when I like would play Parappa occasionally. I would hear. Oh, if you like Parappa, you might like Guitar Man. Mm-hmm. And then I played Final Fantasy VII and Eight and Nine, and I didn't bother. Yeah, <laughs> no, I get it. <laughs> Parappa, I really want to do. I really want an episode. I really want a very play charming it. set of games like yeah. uh, Parappa One and Two and Um Jammer Lammy. Yeah. Like I can recommend all of those. Well, like I was that kid who made fan fiction of everything <laughs> <laughs> and like had my own OCs for we're, everything. We're, we're gonna need you to read that on air. Yeah. I think so did you bring it? Oh, I, <laughs> No, I probably still have some stuff on fanfiction.net. And I had like. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know that was a thing. We <laughs> have a computer I'm glad right I do here. Now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do have a laptop right here. We can just change the show. I had Oddworld fanfiction. <laughs> um, Thank you for those, by the way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> when we going to do the Oddworld show? Man, I'm, I knew I'm that down. was going to come I mean, up. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just throw Dave right under that bus. <laughs> She's uh, Shandra's been giving me shit on Twitter before. Uh, we're do that, and I'm like, I promise I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it after we finish all of Matt Barger's games. <laughs> okay. Then we'll jump on Oddworld. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've only got one more, and we do one a year. So right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to yeah. do Guitar Man because um, it is a rhythm game that I had actually played before. <laughs> So I wanted to take mm-hmm. the lazy way out. I knew Tyler was familiar with it too. Mm-hmm. So I was I'm like, awful at it. Oh fuck, I'm so bad at yeah. it. It looks like playing I'd love I'd watch Josh play it and lose, be like, that looks so fucking easy. Josh sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up the controller and just no, no fucking way. I cause of course, like, yeah, I'm I'm the opposite, Paul. I'm the worst. <laughs> I mean, because I don't have any sense of rhythm. I'm basically just looking at and trying to time it correctly. I don't, there's no rhythm sequence, anything in my brain whatsoever. Well, so, you used to play. You said you used to play a lot of uh, Pump It Up. Pump how did, it up. How was that different? I'm I'm curious. Well, Pump It Up, same thing. I wouldn't really. Li- I wouldn't listen to the music. I would just try to time the arrows coming up. So you did it all visually. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And I I can't do Dance Dance Revolution just because. I hate where the arrows are placed. <laughs> yeah, it no, doesn't I, make it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of the same way to pump it up, just because I'm so used to DDR. Yeah. It, took, uh, it was years before I found a pump it up machine at, at any of my my arcades, and so I was just like, this feels weird and wrong. I can't jerk <laughs> off to <of> this. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Robbie? <laughs> It's like jerking off with your hand facing the other way. Yeah. No, no. Why, why would you do that? Why? Why? <laughs> thanks to Tony, I know that's called the Western group. <laughs> yeah. Or thanks to you, maybe. Well, I brought, brought it up, and then like Phil and Tony started talking about, yeah, that's, there's a name for that. I have not heard that. That's Oh, that's man. And by the way, everyone we just mentioned, I thought of you last night when I jerked it. <laughs> 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 They're gonna be so proud. Ah, <laughs> oh, Western grip, y'all. <laughs> I'm retaining that knowledge. Oh my god. Oh, I just imagine a Western grip has to involve you also wearing a cowboy hat. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah totally. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's unspoken. <laughs> Nikki right. woke up and she was like, "What are you doing?" It's See, fine. It's fine. Don't worry about Dave, it. Dave has the power to try and knock the cowboy hat off of his head whenever he finishes. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's, that's, that's the net. That's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun game. Oh man! <laughs> Start putting a bullseye on it. <laughs> like different point values as it goes out. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like ski ball. Yeah. 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 Well, you, you know, in the westerns, where like throw the hat up and just shoot it <laughs> deep in the air. <laughs> It's a really weird game of ring toss you're playing here. <laughs> uh, guitar uh, man. Guitar mm-hmm. man. Guitar man. Do you hear that, Tyler? It sounds like a, a western grip. Let's <laughs> <laughs> but backwards. Do yeah. that backwards. <laughs> Are we just gonna reverse the audio there? <laughs> nah, that's too much editing. That's too much editing. I like the <laughs> It's like a, like the jackalope masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere Dave Coulier is weeping. <laughs> Not because of that statement. Just for his career. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, cut just it like, out, Tyler. Listen to that Alanis Morissette song. <laughs> just over that. and over. That's about me. That's about me. Where did I go? <laughs> Full House is coming back, man. Yeah. yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> I, I am too excited yeah, about it. Netflix is doing a season. I think they're calling it Fuller House. Yeah. Isn't that the thing? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm that not even joking. terrible yeah. name. I know. I'm, not, that's I'm good. not disagreeing with you. That's good. I hope I they like, like Full house uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering Full how they're going to do the th- twins, because that was like... The thing was they were babies, so of course you had to switch them out. Now, yeah, they're, yeah. now they're adults. You don't have to switch them out. Are, are they actually going to be on it? I don't know. Oh, I think, that's I think, the first I've heard of it. I think so. Um. I heard what they're doing is they're going to have a reunion first, uh-huh. and then they're doing Fuller House. And then they're going to do the series they- with whoever's left alive. After that <laughs> <laughs> it's a reality murder show. <laughs> they're going to give Stephanie a bunch of meth, and then just see whoever she doesn't kill, and they'll keep going. Don't do that to Stephanie. Yeah, well, was that she's Stephanie. the one who was like, on drugs. Or she was the one that actually was addicted to meth. I was just saying that because she's the one who like turned out where it's like, Damn, she looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like, those drugs were good to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so are those breast implants. But yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that reverse masturbation Western grip train as well. Just tie it on back. Which, of course, as everyone knows, ushers in a little segment that we like to call Dave Reads from Wikipedia. Okay, guys. Guitaru Man, or as it's known in Japan, Guitaru Man, is a rhythm video <laughs> game developed by... I'm assuming this is I N I S. I don't know. It's a little I, big N, little I, big S. So. Japanese for in excess. Yeah, oh, they also made rhythm games. This is games. what they did when they left. I don't even know who I'm talking oh. about. I don't. I don't know my own reference. <laughs> <laughs> it was published, Tyler, by Koei for PlayStation Two. The game features visual production by Mitsuri Nakamura. And an original soundtrack by Japanese band COIL. That's in all caps. Uh, the game was released in Japan on June 21st, 2001, in North America in February 18th, 2002. It also came out in Europe. We do have one European listener, so <laughs> that came out June 21st, You probably know about that. As you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, a port of the game for the PSP uh, titled Guitaru Man Lives, or as it was known in Japan, Guitaru Man Live. <laughs> uh, was released in oh, 2006. Okay. It's so different. That's really a bad paragraph because that just like just talked about release dates. Like yeah. it doesn't talk about the game or anything like that. But I guess that's what we're here for. Yeah, that's we're what about we're doing. We'll we'll just transcribe our podcast onto the wiki page. I like that idea. Yeah, so <laughs> it'll be like three pages of my masturbation story. <laughs> 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 and if someone's gotten through all the way to that, then they're like, oh, here's actual information about the game. This is just a long, why are you elaborate up plan. up all the masturbation stories, what I'm wondering. Like, why can't everyone be part of that? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no one's stopping you. Go right ahead. <laughs> Don't turn red. Tell a masturbation story. <laughs> so, oh, first of all, man. it's called jilling off. Or- <laughs> <laughs> Schlicking. Schlicking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what does the sound Wolverine's claws make when he doesn't have adamantium on his claws? They snit, slick snit. out. No, they snit. <laughs> they snick when he when he's got them on, but when they're bones, they slick out. Because it's because they're covered just, in. Just, I don't know if any of that's true. Blood. <laughs> I don't know if any of that's true. <laughs> that makes we have to look it up. <laughs> So this so Guitaru Man is a tracing game. I just want to go <laughs> throw that out there. It's it's essentially a game where you trace lines and music plays over it. Mm-hmm. 
I yeah. mean, that's basically Half of it, how yeah. it works. You know, there's also the defense portions of it that's a different thing. But. Yeah, there is. All right. Because I thought earlier when I was making notes, I was like, this game is going to be fucking impossible to describe to somebody who hasn't played it. Because I can't think of it. Like, there's no, like, I can't think of any other game to compare it to, to be like, it's kind of like this, but they twist it. Yeah, no. That's... <laughs> Like, uh, you know, I mean, there, <laughs> there's like a point in the center of the there's screen a dot, right? that everything kind of converges on. And when you're playing the guitar, there's like a line. So you have to point the analog stick towards that line. And when like a little bubble pops up on it, you have to press it and press whichever button you decide. Buttons, yeah. yeah. And uh, you have to hold it down until that bubble kind of goes back down to a regular line. But the line's like wiggling and wobbling all around. You know, so you have to keep moving the uh, analog stick along with it, you know, as it goes around in circles and you're having to tap the button to indicate that he's hitting a new chord or whatever, you know. That's about as good as I can do. Sounds you could play this on a TI-83 graphing card. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like well. a fucked up, like, quick time event. Uh, it it uh, kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> it okay. becomes even more like a quick time event when you're doing the defense segments, like when he's dodging attacks, because it's just like uh, the circle button will come in from the right or the square button will come in from the left, the triangle will come in from the top, and the next will come in from the bottom. Who is he and defending they, against? Other people that have guitarus. His rock opponent, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, uh, uh, so you have to hit him just as they hit the center of the screen. So, and like, he'll like duck or dodge to the side. It, it's not very well timed to those actual buttons. But yeah. It, yeah. Just, it, it does kind of throw you off. Like, mm-hmm. his actual actions plus the timing plus the rhythm, like, mm-hmm. then plus the tracing segments. It's a, it's a rough game. It is a, it is a difficult. But reward him because the music is so fucking good. I really do yeah, like, I the, like music. the music oh, a lot. Man. There's only one track that I've always it's always kind of bugged me, and that's the uh, Ben the Ben T or the ben, Shark the, Ben K yeah, the, reggae uh, reggae rap the reggae uh, rap theremin yeah. music. Yeah, I and, didn't yeah. like that which one. is also a bitch to play because it's like because there's you're no tracing really... these really long squiggly notes. Uh-huh. So it's like if you if you miss one, like if I miss one in the middle, like I'm gonna do when it start squiggling, mm-hmm. it's starts squiggling, it's like. Wee- and just silence, yeah. like this, like infuriating, <laughs> game, yeah. like three seconds of silence. The game another continues note to up. make you feel bad for uh-huh. your poor decision. To, uh-huh. <laughs> so to it does fuck like it that shit, like um, Guitar Hero does, where if you don't hit the right button, it's gonna just not play that. Yeah, you yeah, recover. it just doesn't play it. Oh, that's yeah. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the story a little bit. I would love to talk about <laughs> okay. the story. There's not much of a story. Yeah, no. I feel like that's okay. The story is so weird. This game is so weird that I feel like a long, elaborate story would have been like them being like, no, this is a serious game. No, we need to like justify all this shit. They don't. They're just like, this, you have, you're, you're a boy in Japan. Your name is U1. Yeah. The letter, the letter U, U, a dash, a one. That's what I almost named Kenna. <laughs> almost. <laughs> the real U1 is what you should name them. Is his brother you too? Is that how it works? Man, are you looking at my achievements? No, sorry, <laughs> no. sorry. So you're a, you're a, a, a small Japanese boy named U Dash One. You have a you have a talking dog who mm-hmm. kind, he kind of looks like the Japanese Snoopy. Mm-hmm. So you're essentially Charlie. You're the Japanese Charlie Brown. Occasionally he'll laugh like Muttley from the Wacky Racers. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you um you you won. Is in in love with uh, well he's in like he's probably in like with a girl <laughs> named um, Notes uh, please <laughs> shoot I forget her name Pico Pico yeah. Pico de Gallo and <laughs> <laughs> it's Japan don't they that's ridiculous I mean Naruto's the kids of Naruto and Sasuke are basically like burrito and salad so. <laughs> It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, like all of Dragon Ball Z, like there's yeah. Vegeta, Kakarot, Raditz. I'm sure Bulma's. The, yeah, Bulma's like, and her whole family is bra. like underwear. <laughs> so you one wants to be a skateboarder. That's mm-hmm. what he, he wants to be a skateboarder so that he can impress um, his lady friend. Tony Hawk is coming into its prime, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah they're trying to cross promote there. Yeah. <laughs> but his dog Puma. Explains to him <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> that no, you're not a skateboarder. You're from a long line of people called 
I just think they're called just yeah. gu- guitarus. No, you you yeah. want Mad Pussy to last for years? <laughs> no, no, no. Pick up a guitar, put Learn down the to, skateboard. Learn how to play Wonderwall and you will be set. <laughs> So th- that begins. Yeah, man, like, I want to see so his Hard Man reboot with John Mayer as, <laughs> as you won. Ugh. But yeah, so he's supposed to be like from the planet Guitaru, right? Right. Like his, or, his or his ancestors. Or, yeah, are. exactly. Like, what do you mean, you people? And so, <laughs> the you won people. Did I not say that all the way through? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like, so he's just on Earth for some reason. Like, I, I, I don't. They never made it clear what the deal was with his parents or anything. I think that's you fine know? too. I love it's like that. Like a Disney movie, they're yeah, all dead. Just, he's just there. <laughs> yeah. they, just him and Puma yeah. living yeah. in that house. <laughs> the dog takes care of him. That's all. <laughs> Japan doesn't have child services. They're notorious for that. They just, they just don't care. That is their child services. They just give you a dog. <laughs> uh, Eco was raised by Moogles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, and that's kind of where the adventure begins mm-hmm. because now all of a sudden you won. Uh, has to travel back to his ancestors' planet and gather up all these guitarus, which are I kind of thought they were instruments. They're, they're kind of they're kind of instruments. Yeah, they're all. I think they're all instruments. And he cause... he he is his guitaru looks like a guitar. Mm-hmm. There are guitarus that look like trumpets. I don't know why they're not mm-hmm. they're called trump trump trumpetarus or something <laughs> like that. Was because like the... they just didn't have the time to figure. <laughs> yeah. <them out>. <laughs> Does the devil, like the devil in the first level, has like a horn, maybe? No, he's got he, an axe. Yeah, he has, he has an, an axe. axe. Okay. Yeah, that's his bit. And Pan, then pan piss. The second, <laughs> is uh, the second level is like the UFOs, but they have like the keyboard all around them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The third level is uh, the trumpet guy. Mojo King B. Yeah. Mojo, yeah. That, uh, I'll never forget Mojo that. Mojo King B. God. Then the uh, fourth level, you're being chased by the shark thing. And then in the fifth the level, you the actually fight him, uh, you fight him with the... Uh, with he turns into like a giant robot that has like turntables for boobs. Um, yeah, you know. uh, and that then awesome. g- girls like their boobs and play like <laughs> like like their records. Like you're scratching them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. they're into that. You know, binky, 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 binky. You get them going one direction really fast and then go against it. Love Shuffle it. them around. Just <laughs> but, uh, does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let me see. Put a needle on it. <laughs> <What>? oh. <laughs> <laughs> the the sixth level you're just playing like a regular guitar you're you're playing Wonderwall for some girl that looks like the girl that the, the girl that you like Kira yeah, it looks Kira. like Pico yeah exactly mm-hmm. and it's then, like a Wizard of Oz scenario mm-hmm. where it's like and you were there and you were there um, where like the K- King Zoe the main villain looks totally like. Pico's boyfriend mm-hmm. in like the real the school world. bully who's yeah. maybe a little bit like David him, Bowie yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just. Just to throw that extra little rhyming thing in. <laughs> Japanese, they love their... That was a joke, right? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. You get it. <laughs> Barry Burton. <laughs> <laughs> you just made uh, Ruby Bear and Paul Kalil extremely happy. <laughs> I don't want to... Um, I don't want to skim over the other... The, uh, the bosses that you fight in this game because they are... I think they would like really make the game mm-hmm. because they're so varied and different and their their aesthetic is tied so closely to the kind of music that, yeah. that they play. Yeah. Um Panpiss is this little red devil that you he just invades your home and that's when you one discovers that his dog, Puma, can turn into like a red play school like an amp. My first Ghetto Blaster. That's <laughs> <laughs> they sell those. And, yeah, something like that. And a guitar-shaped weapon springs out of his back. <laughs> you one grabs it, and in one of the most amazing transformation scenes, <laughs> um, you turn into what looks like if Elvis Presley and became a Power Ranger <laughs> and had a baby with Mega Man. That's what U1 Pretty looks good. like. Yeah, There's, that's a good description. That's a good description. There may, Paul, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. There's this anime, and I feel like he looks like a character on this one certain anime okay. where it starts off, the main character, um, he's voiced by the same guy who voices Spike Spiegel in, okay, Steve in the Blue. U.S., yeah. and he starts off by just having a robotic arm, and as the anime progresses, he gets more and more, The, the it spreads when he manifests mm. his power, and yeah. his rival is another 
guy and his power is where he has a is, robot that he just controls is like it, a puppet. Is it the one uh like scryed, but it's got like the dashes in the middle? Like he it, it has the robot the i I've never seen the whole show, but I saw like a YouTube clip where the guy has he's standing on a gun, like a giant gun that he fire and he's talking about his thick hard magnum. You know, like <laughs> it's thick and it's hard and it's coming to get you. Like it just I'm I'm pretty that's sure that's where what that you're talking comes about. From. <laughs> <laughs> so many people have said that to her during sex. She was just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's coming to get me. <laughs> but no, I'm pretty sure that's the anime you're thinking of. But I haven't okay. seen the series. I've just seen a couple of clips where like, there was just ridiculous dubbing. But I, I know Steve Bloom vo- voiced the character from that. And he has like a... It's like a golden arm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure we're talking about the same thing, but I'm not super familiar with it. Okay. There's a costume in it that's similar to you ones the, His full transformation, yeah, looks a little bit reminiscent to you one When he tra- man. When he transforms, does a woman have an orgasm like <laughs> she does in yeah, that, Guitar that's, Man? That, that's the requirement <laughs> for the transformation. God, I, I remember <laughs> playing it for the first time, and this was, of course, after there was the ESRB. Like, I remember playing it in college and being like, God damn, that was kind of hot. And they're like, <laughs> like, E for everyone? Meg does that, you win, really, really well. So I need to try to get her, before we publish this, get at her to say that and just, put it somewhere in the episode. Just go wake her up. Come on, come, <laughs> just get go. I know you have to be up in like five hours going to work, but come here. Just go come wake here. Her up. Like, uh, that, that was the, You'll uh, say it better. I want to know, <laughs> know what the thought process was behind that. Like, did they did they come up with that like in the recording booth? You know, like where it's just like, you know, she, she comes to it and is just like, oh, yeah, you know, kind of sassy. And they're just like, like no, no, we need it. We need it more sultry. You know, and like, and <laughs> there are kids oh, out there who jerk yeah. off the rhythm game. <laughs> you know, sexy enough. Um, this might be a weird request, but can put this put this in you and say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just, just like as it goes in, just get your, whatever, get yourself, whatever comes out. <laughs> go at the moment. Get yourself going. Give me the thumbs um, thumbs up so I can start recording. When you, when you say it. And, uh, you know, who wins? <laughs> Tell me who wins. Who wins? You win. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. It's a game. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, it's man. a weird game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really weird. Mm-hmm. That is really fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I this is this is one of those games that I go back and play at least once every two years. I'll play this game. I played Ramon's copy, which I think drifted around at everybody's mm-hmm. apartment for a long time. Because he, he had the PlayStation Two copy. I've, I've never seen another copy of it in the wild. Mm-hmm. Period. If I had, I would not have been interested in it because I think the cover art is just bad. Yeah, it's not really like it. reminiscent of the game itself. Yeah, yeah. It's but, just like sidewalk chalk, and mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't really like yeah. it. Yeah, I actually hadn't played it until you guys mentioned it, and so I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll look into this. And I found it on Amazon, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it's a very quick game. Yeah, like, sure. It's, I think I finished it in about an hour, you know, and, you know, then I started on master mode, and that is some hard shit, like, even as the rhythm master. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I still haven't finished it, but I've only been at it for a few weeks now, so, you know, and just kind of playing it when I have a minute here, you know. Because there's a, there's a normal, there's a hard... Right, and then there's, once you beat it on normal or hard, it unlocks master. Well, no, there's a, a like I have it on the PSP, so I don't know how it is on the PS2. But there's normal, which it's set to. You can set it to easy uh, on the PSP, but uh, y- it, you have to beat it on normal before you can unlock master. Okay, mode. so there's just three right. difficulties. Okay, and I've tried master mode. Uh, I've I finished. I usually finish this game on normal. Mm-hmm. I never played it on master mode mm-hmm. until we discussed talking about it on the show. Right, and I tried it. And I was like, I don't think I can do this <laughs> because I couldn't get past Panthus, which is the fir- which is the first level. And I was like, well, all right, I guess I'm I'm that, done with this. I imagine the way like it's been talked about is like that's similar to Diablo three going from mm-hmm. hard to inferno yeah. and just like it oh, is a fuck this. Yeah. yeah, like and even in the normal campaign, there's. A couple of big jumps in difficulty. Yes, I feel, Sandbone you know? Trio. Yeah, like it jumps right up at the Sandbone Trio, and then Zo- when you finally fight Zoe, I felt that there was a big jump, you know, because that's the last level, you know, and uh, it, you know, just has this. It, it it took me a few tries, but you know, I mean, I I got through it, you know, and then I was like, okay, well, let's play it on Master now, and then it just shut me down, like once I got to uh, Mojo King B. Yeah. You know, 
I'm almost to the point where I can finish that level. But. Well, and it's also they don't in master mode they don't change the the line that you trace uh, very much at all. Yeah, it's it's mostly how much you have to hit uh, have to hit the button. Like it's it, it's more correspondent to like each note in the song right. as opposed to okay, well you're playing like four notes, but we're just gonna let you hold down this thing. Now we have to now you have to hit it in sync with when you would be hitting that thing. It's it's kind of the transition between like hard and expert in Guitar Hero. You also take a shitload more damage because yeah. like we yeah. haven't really talked about the setup of the game because I don't think it's super important. Right. But but like. Like there is a setup to the game where uh, there's like three different modes. There's a charge mode because mm-hmm. what's happening is you're playing you're playing your guitaru and the opponent is playing his or her guitaru, mm-hmm. and you're just you're trying to kill each other with the power of music. Yeah, like lightning bolts occasionally shoot out, but they don't really go consistently <laughs> enough for me to think that that's exactly what's happening all the time. Yeah, we're not we don't ask too many questions. You just rock so hard. <laughs> it's just the power of rock. Exactly. Okay. And His beats are too righteous. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a charge mode where you essentially regain any any power that you've lost, and power is essentially health. Yeah, most levels you start at like you know maybe a fifth of your health, mm-hmm. you know, and they let you charge up, and then it goes through. And if you miss too many notes, if you're if you're not tracing those lines right, mm-hmm. that bar will deplete, and when that bar depletes, that's when you get that's when you get the game over. It just cuts it off. Um, so the other side of that is that, um, besides the charge mode, it'll switch to an attack mode and that's when you can actually start doing damage to your opponent. And once again, it's just pretty much just how well you, you trace the line. Yeah. It's the same control scheme. You're still playing the thing. It's just going outward now. Exactly. And if you do it well, you deal damage to their power meter. Mm -hmm. Um, what kind of, what's kind of shitty is you can get their power meter down to zero, Way early on, mm-hmm. but it, you, still you still have, have to, play to finish through the song. entire song. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it seemed weird that that was part of it. You know, like I guess they wanted it as like a gauge to let you know how far into it you are. You know, but it I, seems like something they should have bounced then to like you could you can only get down to like this certain amount near the end. So by the yeah, end, yeah. So that the done, so that yeah. the final solo yeah. is very clear that you know. Yeah, that that's almost, where you've murdered them ends, right you know? <laughs> with your music exactly. <laughs> Whole note, half note, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Every good boy does fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Every good boy fucked you up. <laughs> good boys do fine always. <laughs> <laughs> I took guitar lessons for like a year. Nice. I don't remember uh, any of it. Do you have whatsoever. do you have your guitar? Do you have your guitar here with us? Where Can you, you play where, a song? Where do you think my guitar is? <laughs> Mom's at it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. Let's play us a song. Shit. I <laughs> man, I what was the last thing I remember playing like the Star Spangled Banner. I think I could do that on guitar, and that was about as far as I got. I think you remember when um, Griffin on My Brother, My Brother and Me would play his guitar for like people who give the show money. I think you should do that. <laughs> Every time someone gives us money, you play the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. No, uh, God, no musical talent whatsoever. <laughs> like, it's like, Mom and Dad, yeah, just go, just throw the money in the fire. It's fine. Just throw it in there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Does um, does it keep I, him quiet for like thirty minutes a week? Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, my dad just wanted me to be musical so badly. Put down the Nintendo controller, pick up a guitar, do something, do something, do yeah. something. No, okay, you can't do that. All right, fine. Play your stupid Nintendo games. <laughs> Did your dad give you the whole like? You know, when you get older, they don't people don't pay you to play Nintendo. I got that one a lot. Uh, no, I think it, I don't think I got that. I think it just that it was just a waste of time, and I should yeah. be outside playing. Yeah, See, yeah. I like I've. I was in band from the time I was like nine or ten. Hell yeah. Till uh, high school. What'd you play? Flute and French horn. Soul Sister, Yarn Sorceress, <laughs> man. <laughs> Sitting on so many levels. Because, yeah, Nicole also played flute. Mm-hmm. So. I still have You're my flute. So does she. She says the same thing. <laughs> man, this, is, my... this is eerie. <laughs> I still have my flute. I can still pretty much play it. I yeah. do have a guitar too. I'm not great at it. <laughs> but, um, when I first started playing, my mom would make me go out to the chicken coop because we had chickens in the desert. And I was hoping you didn't. Have chickens. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird room where adult men are just dressed as chickens, smoking she, cigarettes. She would just drive you to this abandoned farm, like to, like out in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to go to the chicken coop. It's just like carded wood, the chicken coop. <laughs> Hey man, it's got a lot of good reviews on Yelp. 
that she <laughs> that was where I had to that was where I had to practice until I was like twelve or thirteen. Then I was allowed uh, in the house because yeah. now I was good uh, enough. Yeah. And I was a soloist in first flute. <laughs> I used to, I played sax and I played in the garage. Yeah. Because yeah. it was like yeah, this I mean, the sax is a loud fucking instrument. And mm-hmm. it's like for a while you're real I Did mean, I was bad at it. Like really bad to the point where it's like I got this like Homer Lisa relationship with my dad. <laughs> where it's like he wa- but I guess the difference being that like he wants he wants to encourage me to play, but at the same time, like it's just it's just murder on his ears. Well, cuz the sax makes that terrible squeak. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. man, you play a sax poorly and it's it, you, everybody fucking knows. So, well, bleeding gums Murphy came to your house. Yeah. And I was like, "Go with this strange man. Just go." It's fine. Every time I pull, I remember uh when I first started playing, every time I pull uh the saxophone out of the case, our family dog would fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> the dog would run and hide, and I wouldn't see her until I put it back in the case. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> oh, man. But now, like a flute, like you can make it go really high. I can't. But no, it's just terrible when you can't play it. Not as bad as a sax. No, that's, that's awful. <laughs> That was my contribution. To the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could do something. I could do something to help besides nod. I'm just, I'm just nodding at you. Like, yeah, really good radio. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this for almost three years. I'll just nod at you silently. <laughs> no, no, thanks. Just watch my comments just skyrocket down. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's man. what's everybody? Everybody who has listened to it, unless you just have a random opinion, it's fine. What, <laughs> what's your favorite track in this game? Oh God! Like oh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pick a favorite. <laughs> she loves the she loves the electronic reggae rap thing. Ugh. Yeah, oh, sure. Oh, the totally sounds like something I would uh, love. Going for the underdog, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, love a good zither. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, like the Zip me baby one more time. <laughs> the level that I like the most is uh, the I really I like the song of the uh, UFO level. Like it's mm-hmm. it's just. N- it gets my head bobbing nicely. You know, That's like know. it's kind of like um, so this is like an electronic. idol pop song. Yeah, kind of deal, yeah, yeah. It has that. It, it has that kind of feel to it. You know, like I could very easily see that playing during you know like some kind of Super Sentai show or something yeah. like that, which is clearly one of the tropes that they're kind of playing on, sure. especially in the background animation and all that. But I also really like the uh, the level where spoiler you have to fight. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> you, you have to fight uh, the girl that looks like Pico, you know, because uh, it turns out she's an agent of Zoe, you know, and all that stuff. And like, I really like it when you kind of go back around into that version of the the the, the love song yeah, that exactly. he plays. Yeah, like when it starts coming together with the different things. The problem is that there's like two minutes of that level uh-huh. that I'm not super interested in, you know, before it gets to that. And so I'm just like, eh, I want to hear that, but I don't want to play this whole level again, you know. Just, so, it, you know, uh, uh, the UFO kind of wins because it's consistently the the whole thing I like as opposed to the last half of it. I know this will be probably sacrilege to at least Tyler, but one of the main reasons I also really like that UFO level, mm-hmm. it really reminds me of Earthbound. That level in particular reminds me of Earthbound because it's because of the UFO. Anything uh-huh. that you'd like that is connected to Earthbound, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm pro, so it's fine. And because it all takes place in this kind of like cutesy Japanese style yeah. city, which kind of it looks like Tucson to me. Like, I mean, I never made that connection when I first played the game because I hadn't played Earthbound yet. But mm-hmm. like, since I played Earthbound and I replayed Guitar Man, it was like, man, this game, like, I kind of feel like. If it didn't take from Earthbound, it fished from the same pool. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's one of the things I really like about that UFO level. Yeah. My favorite level, my favorite song, and I also think it's the most difficult, is is Sandbone Trio. That, that um, is a good one. Yeah. Which we haven't really talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, Sandbone Trio is, they're essentially the un- undead Huey, Dewey, and Louie of the Guitar <laughs> no. Man yeah. universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, their their guitaru is essentially fucking xylophones. I mean, mm-hmm. they're bones. They're ribs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're skeletons, and so they play on themselves. So, and they have like PS2 and PS2 controllers for crotches. Did anybody yes. else notice that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did not notice that. Yeah. I think that I think that we should go to Dragon Con <laughs> as a Sandbone Trio. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm in. I'm in. I've got some skeleton pajamas from when I was little. <laughs> 
<laughs> just put that PlayStation 2 controller on your crotch. <laughs> Man, I haven't thought about those skeletal pajamas in such a long time. Because they, they were tight and black. and had like a glow-in-the-dark skeleton, like, raised, whatever, on it. It had a mask, but you know, I'm, I really don't wear a mask to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I typically don't like to be smothered in my sleep. Oh, man. No, the mask is for when you go into someone else's bed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. The mask is for daddy time. <laughs> <laughs> but that song, the Sandbone Trio uh, song, it's kind of like this. Like when you when you when you one starts actually playing, it's like this flamenco style guitar, yeah, and it's really difficult for me. And that's like it's not the last level, but that is the stage I always have the most trouble with because mm-hmm. it's a lot of rapid. It's a lot of rapid button taps, but uh, also instead of it's just having to tap it, you have to like slightly arc the line each time. Mm-hmm, so yeah. I showed you the YouTube video of it on Master Mode, yeah. And like it, both of us were just like, nope. No, just- I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I, not only could I not make it there, if I did, like, I can tell, like, even if I practice this game to the point where I could handle master mode, uh-huh. I guarantee you I could not make it past Sandbone Trio. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of people that say that that's the hardest level on master mode. Like, it yeah. goes down from there, you know, but uh, it's just one of those things where I'm just like, oh, geez. <laughs> I'm still going to try it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're the rhythm master. I'm going like, to try it. The rhythm master. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, I'm torn between Sambone Trio Mm -hmm. and the Love Ballad song. Yeah. Despite the fact it's a little rapey. (laughs) Because, like, you're, I mean, she's like, she's, you know, she's not into you. She's sitting far away from you. So you're playing your guitar and, like, you're clearly using your guitar to wear down her mental defenses. Yeah, I mean, her so, like, she's is going down. Yeah, yeah. She's scooting yeah. closer and closer <laughs> to you. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> well, you're not exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's what's going through the heads of those guys who are playing Wonderwall at parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of that. They could just see the meter over those girls' heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of that X triangle square, it's R-A-P-E. Oh. <laughs> Smashing her down. Oh. <laughs> right. but, but it's a good right. song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a sweet it's, song. Yeah, it's a very sweet song. <laughs> <laughs> and we are just ripping it apart. Um, and whenever you have for your her health is gone, that's when she like lays down on your side, and like fucking, I'm in. I'm in this shit. <laughs> And then you never call her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't know then what you to fall. do, so you just, you just sit there nervously, like I did in middle school, when like a girl would like lay her head on my shoulder or something like that, and just like freeze. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable. And I'm really hot, but I'm not this moving. Is, this is like third base for me. I don't know what. To... <laughs> There's a good question. The follow up, of course, is what was your least favorite level besides besides Ben K. Okay, and reggae gonna... rap because I feel like that's everybody. Yeah, I yeah. just can't decide. Yeah, <laughs> once again, once again. You're locked in a decision. That <laughs> becomes more difficult once you take that out of the running because that's such an obvious like yeah, it's, it's clearly the worst. Yeah. <laughs> and there's two parts of it and both like because the first part of Ben Yeah, the K first one is kind of like, like a this, surf song. It's like this thing. drum break yeah, where it's yeah. just all it's all defense. Where it's all yeah, this rapid button. Like bass. when you're going through like the wormhole and yeah. all that stuff. But um I don't know, like for me I would probably hmm, I didn't I didn't exa- like I don't hate playing through it again, but probably my least favorite after that would probably be the uh there's uh the cathedral yeah. with the Sailor Moon villain Gregorio, guy. Gregorio oh. III. Yeah. Like he looks like some uh, somebody that Sailor Moon has to throw a tiara at. That's that's what she does, right, Chandra? <laughs> yes. She throws a tiara. It's Moon's tiara power. Okay, yeah. She just runs around throwing that at people. That's how that show goes. <sighs> I never hear no. a, a man orgasm when she transforms. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, not a, yeah, that's not as sexy. You win. You fucking, you fucking win. <laughs> so you little bitch, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Just as wide as the moon. <laughs> I'm going to put stars in your eyes. <laughs> But I, I had read recently about like the oh, um, the the translation in in Sailor Moon, like in the Japanese version, Sailor Pluto and Sailor Uranus are lovers. No, mm-hmm. it's Sailor Neptune and okay. Sailor Uranus. Yeah, you so, had it half right. 
Yeah. So they, yeah. Yeah, they're, but they didn't want to do that in the American version, so they make them sisters, and it's cousins. really no, weird. Cousins. cousins. Yes. Yeah, because they didn't take out any of like the flirting that they do. <laughs> it's, it's really weird when they put on strap-ons. <laughs> And didn't, like, they change, like, one of the guy villains into a girl, didn't they? Or I don't know about that, but I know there was, um, I th- believe they're called the Sailor Stars or the some- Sailor Starlight, something like that. And in the Japanese version and in the manga, they are men in their normal form, and then they turn into ladies in their sailor fighter okay. form. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So clearly they are both. <laughs> In the Japanese version, in the American version, they're the Bailey Jays. Uh, exactly. yeah. <laughs> and in the bringing it back, yeah, in the translated version, it's their sisters they're calling up. Gotcha. They are not turning into ladies. Yeah. Or of they course, we would do. Calling my big sister. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, we would do that here. <laughs> sisters gonna like, kick your ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's like the guys are like part of a pop group, <laughs> so it's like yeah. even more. <laughs> Go, call my sister, kick your. Guys' ass. Man, huh. fucking, fucking America. <laughs> like, and what recently, I feel like maybe it was on Fox that they of censored out was. the boobs in like Picasso paintings. Really? <laughs> like, Jeez. they don't even, they don't even really? look like tits, but yeah. like, they're showing like all the stills of all the picture and just like pixelated on oh just weird God. different areas. <laughs> that's. I mean, don't silly. you get turned on by like a circle? <laughs> squ- just squ- abstract <laughs> titties. Give me those abstract that titties. Triangle, oh, triangle titties. Oh, yes. With that like octagon <laughs> nipple and the triangle areola. Why do you oh. think I was an art major? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is that suicide girl who has the star tattooed over her nipples. Yeah. Her nipples are stars. That I don't know how I feel about it. Like I like it and I don't like it at the that same time. Painful. It's yeah. a trend that reminds me of every time I see it, I think about that first that first masturbation trip when I was in Las Vegas and they had all those straight up escort flyers where it's just naked women with stars on their nipples. <laughs> every time I, I know which a suicide girl you're talking mm-hmm. about every time I see I mean, she's hot. It. Yeah. Otherwise she's, otherwise well, I mean, she's, she's a suicide hot. girl. Yeah. Mm. Well, there are some suicide girls that are just like, uh, I don't faces. Know. not even, well, yeah, I guess their bodies are all pretty awesome, but yeah. <laughs> so, so Gregorio thir- the third, <laughs> which I'm <laughs> total butterface. <laughs> that's actually that's my answer. Yeah, is, I, I think that's besides Ben K, um, the shark robot. Uh, I think Gre- Gregorio third the you don't like his scream the tr- all the time. <laughs> it's it. I well, there's one thing I love about it, and that is I love it when very very Japanese games and anime just media like kind of does this weird like take on Christianity. Like <laughs> that is always super entertaining to me because it's like, like I like to think that they don't know better and it's like, well, this, is what, <laughs> this is what Christianity is all about. Right. Because like there was a Pope Gregorio the third, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So y- you've got that. Unless it was an Assassin's Creed. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you've got, so that that's the first variable. Second variable, you're, you're battling this guy, uh, in a cathedral, mm-hmm. and he summons choir boys, and he summons. This is a real thing, Shadra. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> and he summons uh, onion gargoyles with halos above their heads. Yeah, yeah. And his his guitaru are pipe organs that are like God. built into the cathedral. Yeah, I was so afraid you were going to say they were the choir. Boys. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah. They're like, yeah, there's like these children of the corn choir, but like you're yeah. fighting them, and all of a sudden you just get this shot they of like these demonic fade. looking children. They fade in from the shadows of like this uh, of this uh, balcony, like they're a really fucked up Statler and Waldorf. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you're into the the, the weird if you're, Japanese, if you're into boys, <laughs> check out Gregorio the Third. Yeah, but, it's uh, a commentary on Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> in the but time. Japanese Catholicism they do in uh uh Blue Exorcist. Yeah. The shonen anime where they fight demons and like the main character is like the son of Satan and he's been recruited to fight demons and it doesn't make a lot of sense. I'll check it out. Fun. Because I that's like it, I feel like Neon Genesis Evangelion mm-hmm. I love, but it's one of those things where it's like there's so many Christian undertones in that anime yeah. that like I tried to put together and it got to a point where it was like 
oh no, this is just all for theme. <laughs> like uh, there, I can't follow these threads. This is all just for theming. It has to be. I hope, I hope Japan's angry when Nintendo America like made Link change from the cross on his shield to the Hylian <laughs> shield. Like what? No, fuck these guys. Dude, just make make fun of their silly religion. It's like they get they get a tax break or something if they take a jab at Christianity in their game. <laughs> well, it's like Xenosaga. Um, I don't know if you guys ever played it. It was a series of games on the PlayStation mm-hmm. Two. With the and longest fucking cutscenes yeah, well, ever. Yeah, like 45 oh minutes. Oh my god, yes. Like 34 minutes, unskippable, yeah. unpause, unpausable. I would, try, <laughs> I would try to play that game like before I went to school. I was like, fuck, I gotta turn it off. I gotta go to school. And start gonna, this whole thing over again when exactly. I get back. Exactly. Oh, but like that whole game is pretty much just Christian uh, like theming and everything. Like, yeah. I mm-hmm. think one of them is Jesus. <laughs> Somebody's Jesus. It just is. Well, yeah. I can see no gears. Like, you kill God. That's the, you fight all his angel. Your gear, once you max it out, then you go and fight angels that are the size of your gears and then go kill God. And by, and first of all, you have to kill the Jesus figure. What we're saying is Japan By the other Jesus, Jesus figure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tyler, did you have a, did you have a least favorite stage in Guitar Man? Maybe the first one. Yeah. In the, in his room. Yeah. Uh, if if not enough the shark not not enough if you're if you're at home by yourself you gotta be mad it's un, it's unbelievable you and your dog just hanging out and someone doesn't have their dick out <laughs> I mean because as soon as you guys leave here that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna be doing in here we're not leaving it's fine. as soon as I walk behind this couch. <laughs> Oh my god don't worry we'll all look at you <laughs> we'll maintain eye contact. <laughs> Look, look in the mirror. We'll look at you through the mirror. Just can't be direct eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> so did you guys play it on the PSP or the PS2? PS2 is what I played it on. Okay. And I played it on both. What I felt it on. Yeah, The I, one of the things I was going to... I played it on the Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that kind of threw me off, I don't know if this, uh, like, on the PSP version... Uh, it has that kind of widescreen thing going on. Yeah. You know, and so when they do those segments where the uh, the like the defense segments where the buttons are coming in from all sides, it kind of threw me off because there's more track for the uh, left and right for the left and right. And so they come in early, like when the game started getting difficult, it became harder for me to keep track of you know wh- and whether or not one of them was first because uh-huh. I would the sequence. Usually, yeah, yeah, exactly. I would get, uh, I would get them, get track of them, but this one actually comes in a little bit later. And so I'd get thrown off and it all spirals downward. And I'm just like, I missed three notes and commit seppuku. <laughs> 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 but I didn't know if that uh, occurred to you at all. Or it, was- uh, it did when I played it on the PSP. Um, I, I prefer to play it on the P the, on PS2. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I mean, it's, the best way to play it, yeah, certainly. But what's really nice, one thing I love about the PSP version is the PSP stick has a lot more. I feel like I got a lot more control over it mm-hmm. just because my thumb is actually larger, right, than the right. stick. Uh, where I'm like the PS2, it's a little, it's a little less elegant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I was able to like in the reggae rap level, like I feel <laughs> like I was able to do the wiggly, the long wiggly yeah. notes a lot better <laughs> than I was. <laughs> but yeah, the white screen. It's yeah. so vivid. It's so vivid to me. Even though I didn't even, I couldn't play this game, but just sitting down and watching it, like just everyone talking about this poem to the levels. I remember the songs. Like it's it's so good. It's done so well. Fantastic soundtrack. The show yeah. notes. The show notes will just be links to the tr- for every every tra- uh, track in the in the game. Because we, to wild because we love Japan. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The, we'll, we'll have that, and then the rest of the tracks. Uh, and something about Sailor Moon. That'll be it. Yeah, <laughs> just something. Just so something. Yeah. What do you uh, more, more porn? Moon. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> do it's you just... know what's weird? I feel weird. <laughs> well, I don't know if I feel weird, but Sailor Moon taught me a parenting lesson that I have remembered and <laughs> and used what already. I remember there is a point. Uh, Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask, their daughter. Um, at one point, like I remember the episode. She's very angry. What's her name? Rini. Rini. It's weird, <laughs> but um, she's very angry at them, and she's like an adult for some reason, or she can transform into an adult. 
and she's lashing out at them for it's something that really happened. It's really fucking weird and complicated. Yeah. There's Time something that happened where involved, she's... I think. Yeah, like mm. she's technically way, way older than them by the time she time travels there, but she's in the size of like a five-year-old. This sounds like a whole <laughs> like okay. Cyclops, yeah. Jean Grey thing. At some, point, <laughs> at some point, she actually becomes looking like an adult. She fucks a unicorn. <laughs> Called Bishop. I, I, don't, don't know. I don't know if you're joking or not. I am absolutely not joking. <laughs> The dick of corn. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I see it. Screw Screw corn. Yeah, there Thank you go. You. We got it. We got it. Uh, link to that in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually a porn scene I really enjoy. <laughs> 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 and she, so she's trying to kill them for some reason, and they make her remember. And it's, it's her and her parents, and they're walking down, and she trips and like scuffs her knee, and immediately starts crying and begging for her parents to pick her up, and they refuse because they're like little baby, does. like yeah, you're <laughs> you're you're not hurt. We don't want you to think you have to come cr- crying to us when you're truly not hurt. You're truly not in distress. You're just you're panicking. You're not hurt. You need to get up on your own. So, like, the other day, like, Kenna, like, fell down just on her butt. She was totally fine and started crying. And, like, I got up to grab her. Then I was like, wait a minute. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Me. Sailor Moon is not me. <laughs> I sat back down and she stopped crying. I love this. That's totally the fine. process. Yeah, That's just like Sailor Moon pops you... into my head. I want to I contribute to this. I love, I lo- I love that. I want to tell you I had a moment earlier today where Henry did something very similar. And uh, Batman Begins came to mind. <laughs> where he, he started fussing, and I said, Henry, why do we fail? <laughs> so we can pick ourselves back up again. And he's totally cool. He got it. <laughs> you, had to, you, you, had to, you had to hear the Michael Caine yeah. impression, just where it, it always sounds like he's about to cry, no matter what he's saying. Just... <laughs> Size of a tangerine. Thank you. I was about to do it myself. The size of a tangerine. He always sounds like he's about to cry, no matter what he's saying, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's not my best impression. Because what was it? What was on Reddit? Like the words "my cocaine." If you say it, you're that's saying that's you say "my cocaine" like. Michael Caine saying his name. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. <laughs> oh my god! What'd you guys think about U One's final transformation? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you also think that he looks like Lion-O with flaming angel wings? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that sounds about right. <laughs> I, right I, answer. I dug his. Uh, I dug his uh, original transformation design better yeah so, i did too you know I, I felt like it was a little bit you know more in keeping with the style of the game you know that you know i mean he's already doing like a Yu-Gi-Oh transformation to turn from u1 into guitaru man mm-hmm. and does then, no one notice that he transformed in that uh, too well it's always in the middle of like a battle situation or he's around people that expect it to happen because i've always so. thought that was bullshit in Yu-Gi-Oh. no one like his friends don't notice that he's grown like a foot <laughs> i've never why are you seen an adult now okay it's fine Yu-Gi-Oh. yeah like, your voice is much cooler different. we'll roll with it <laughs> yeah like he's puberty has hit you your balls dropped <laughs> yeah yeah, Your just, eyes narrowed. You look like someone yeah. we want to fuck now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still a little baby. You've been in your pants, Joey. For what, God's the, <laughs> what the fuck is Yu-Gi-Oh about? <laughs> a children's card. A, a, man, a boy becoming a man. <laughs> I thought it was like a every battle. It's like it's like, it like big. <laughs> only it's about <laughs> card games. I, I thought it was like the the Kmart version of Pokemon. Is that not is no, that not true? No, no. it's a. It's a it's a card game that people play, and in the God, anime they play the they play the card game, and uh, this kid has this little puzzle that uh, was stolen from an Egyptian ruin. Summons, yeah, and so he gets possessed. Uh, he will occasionally get possessed by the spirit inside that puzzle. Who is the who pharaoh? Is, at, yeah, uh, and he's really good at games, and <laughs> also <laughs> looks exactly like him. Yeah, like that's that's except also a weird like thing. a man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has the same with a thick hair. magnum, <laughs> thick hard magnum. See, I've always thought Digimon was that. That was the yeah. Kmart Digimon is the Pokemon. Kmart Pokemon. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Digimon's awesome. It's coming back. The anime is yeah. Really yeah. Good. They, is they, it got really another, good? they got another season coming, and a lot of people I, are excited. The first two seasons were really good. I, I never watched Digimon Trainers. 
which was the third. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot about Digimon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the Digimon cast. And, yeah. uh, we need no, somebody it, here who knows a lot about Digimon. Yeah. So. It's called Digicast. <laughs> well, see, I'm glad you're here for Sailor Moon and Digimon. <laughs> yeah. So it's good. Clearly not Guitaru, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I would Plus argue. If you know anything about Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot more ties to Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon to Guitaru, man, than most of the tangents we go on on the show. Yeah. So I feel this is all justified. They're at least exactly. Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> the last song, the last battle, reminds me a little bit of Illusion of Gaia. Because whenever you have like the Phoenix power versus the other dark power, mm-hmm. it's just that that yeah. battle is somewhat yeah. reminiscent to it. Yeah. Overall, uh, I don't know. I feel like the, the, last, the last whole ending song against Zoe was, meh. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, it's okay. It's right. okay. It's not bad. Yeah, but so it's not my least favorite. Yeah, but. Ben K is the only one that I feel is bad. Yeah, you know, yeah. but uh, like it's not one that I'm going to come back to a lot. You know, partly yeah. because no one like, wants to replay that really from badly. a from a rhythm game perspective. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to keep up with it because it's very much just like freaking out on a guitar. It's yeah. Just, Yeah, they're trying like, to make it hard as opposed to like and, something you're going to enjoy. Yeah, the, uh, and, experience. and so there's not a lot of rhyme or reason to why you're doing it, and so it doesn't process through my head the same way that a lot of these kinds of things do. You know, I don't know if we have any costumers out there listening, but I will straight up commission a Guitar Man costume because <laughs> I think I like that would be. And this is not a joke. It would be my dream costume to show up in Dragon <laughs> as Guitar Man because like the. Two to three people who yeah. would recognize me, I feel like I could forge long lasting friendships <laughs> yep. with. Yep. You're not wrong. We are quartet. You knew what was going on. <laughs> That's a Dark Tower reference if anybody got that. Out there. <laughs> Nicole got it. Nicole's nodding yeah. in, in, her, or in her workspace. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Anybody got any achievements? Uh, I came up with uh, one. And I have a name for another one that I'm not sure what it would be associated with. But uh, we'll help one, out with that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> one of them was uh, bone zoning, and, <laughs> <laughs> and you unlock bone zoning when you uh, defeat the sound bone trio nice. uh, and get an A, just so that it's more of an achievement. And, and also just a boner. A, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's any rhythm game for us. So, you know, well, not just for you; it's an achievement for everyone. <laughs> uh, the other one that I came up with, uh, like I came up with a name for, was a uh, play free bird. You know, play free bird. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, maybe when you just beat master mode or something like that, you know, there's just you've done everything else. Now play free. Now just play free bird. <laughs> or I you, mean, there's Leonard. Yeah, Leonard Skinner's at the very, very end after you beat everybody and go back. He shows up. You're a real good job, man. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leonard Skinner. <laughs> it's a flawless no, I'm Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> I get a couple. Oh, I get a couple. That's how you know I like this game. Yeah. I get a couple. Yeah. Um, the first one that I've got is called Air Guitaru. And you unlock Air Guitaru when you beat the game. Because there are, we didn't really talk about the cutscenes much. There's cutscenes. They're, mm-hmm. they're pretty cute. And um, when, you beat, when you beat King Zoe and come back to planet motherfucking Earth, you uh, <laughs> run into. It's weird that it got rated E. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very bizarre. Uh, you run into Pico again, and she's with her shithead boyfriend. And how do you steal her away? You fucking you do an air guitar riff, <laughs> and that freaks out the skater guy. And then you grab Pico by the arm, <laughs> and you say, "Come on." And she like she has like the most reluctant okay I've ever heard in a video game. She's like, okay, where are we going? And then they just run down the street. Adventure. <laughs> this sounds like the van. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it does this like Looney Tunes like uh, black portal thing, and like yeah. Puma like sticks his head out and winks at you like. So oh, great. <laughs> they totally <laughs> fuck. Clearly, she is getting right. The boyfriend ran away because he, lack of consent. Because you won. That's right, folks. That's uh, horrible. Oh. It's hilarious. <laughs> We're skirting on the edges of yeah. poor taste. I think. <laughs> the best taste. <laughs> Second achievement I've got is uh, you two. <laughs> <laughs> 
And in order to unlock U2, um, you can either do it one of two ways. You can either play through the game twice, or you can just play it with Bono. That's also an option. <laughs> the game can detect when yeah. Bono is in it. Not presence. the edge, with Bono. <laughs> with Bono, and you have to like... You have to litter right in front of them while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> just littering. Master mode is where you have to eat meat beside Morrissey. It's a really, it's a really weird mode. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then the third achievement I have uh, is impo- it's an impossible achievement, but I think it would be cool, and that is called uh, Guitaru Hero. And in order to unlock Guitaru Hero, you need to beat a Guitaru Man with a Guitar Hero guitar peripheral. Uh, which would be possible if there was an analog stick on it, because you can use the well, the the whammy bar on the uh, uh, on the guitar Fuck, peripheral is supposed to <laughs> is supposed to be kind of analogous. I don't know if you can move it around the in way three hundred and sixty degrees. Yeah, but I know that uh, there because there are people that have played. I want to say even like Dark Souls on a uh, Jesus, on a, on a, just I, because I, I suicide's not an option for them. <laughs> I saw Bloodborne. Somebody did that on Bloodborne yeah. recently. Just because you yeah. can just do something doesn't mean yeah. you should. <laughs> right, right. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just saying I'm pretty no, sure. No, I think you were. It is technically possible. <laughs> uh, Tyler, did you have any achievements for this game? Uh, I've got one, and it's called Barely Seduced. And that's where you <laughs> you you seduce Kira by a margin of error of one one note. So just but you just you just you Steve Urkel it and just barely <laughs> just barely do it. Oh man, Chandra, you got any achievements based on this one hour conversation we've had? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. No. Oh no. damn. <laughs> All right. Sailor Moon. I can't think. <laughs> I can't even think of like a bullshit achievement. Okay. Tyler. Yes, Dave. I've had a lot of fun today talking about Guitar Man yeah, with yeah. our friends here who have driven a long distance to talk about dog nodding and uh, <laughs> dubious consent. <laughs> so, uh, and Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Digimon, Sailor Moon, and eat crawfish. But before we close things out, which was great, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your crawfish was very good. Mm-hmm. I'd like to um, ask you if you were to give this game a beard mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that sums up how you feel about it. What kind of beard would you give it? I'd have to give it a masterful rhythm beard that is a mustache and like a soul patch. So it is the the facial hair of rhythm master archivist Paul Corn. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. He has he has yeah. glasses. Yeah. He has glasses too, Tyler. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you were to give this game a pair of glasses, <laughs> what kind of what kind of glasses would you mm. give it? If I were to give it glasses, yeah. I would have to give it a different pair of glasses. Okay. Which would be like glasses that are just like I mean, they just they appreciate the game. The rhythm may, apprentice. Maybe. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. Like they're probably into it. They'd probably like it. They don't know anything about it, but like glasses are just kind of there. So that journeyman, get, okay, right. So it's <laughs> it's the it's the spectacles of Soul Sister Yarn Sorceress, mm. Chandra Martinez. Okay, yeah, I like how easy those were for you. Yeah, I do, I do too. You want to you see what I have written down in my notes? Yeah, what you got? It's blank. <laughs> <laughs> is that a drawing or something uh, on the right, or is that? Did you do a math problem? I can't see. No, those light. are just three quick show notes I just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. All right, the third question, of course, I want to know how much this game is on Amazon used for the for the PS2, the okay. PS2 version. Okay. $70. $70 from Tyler. Chandra, what do you think? Um, let's see, it's a cult classic. Mm-hmm. It's an older game. Mm-hmm. I think 70 is too much. I'm going to go 50. No, 45. 45? Yeah. Okay, 72 from Tyler. I could be the bullshit and just go $1. You could. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty rare. Well... <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm going to say 50. Okay. Because you'll probably be the dick and say $1. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to be that guy. I always hated what? those people on Price is Right. I loved them. 50, 50 from Shadow. Love the dicks. <laughs> love dicks. <laughs> what do you think, Archivist Corn? Uh, well, I, it's it's a rare game. So mm. since, it, like, Tyler took what I was gonna, I was probably gonna go like sixty five, but I I don't want that small of a margin to go in. So I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go with uh, eighty. Give him some margin, you know, but but still, not enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> like, because I, I feel like it could be in that range. So. Okay. So eighty dollars from Paul Chandra. You said you ended up on fifty. Forty five. Forty five. And then Tyler, you said seventy two. Mm-hmm. 70. 
70. Actual <laughs> retail value. I wonder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird. That's, <laughs> of Guitar Man for the PlayStation 2 used on Amazon is not $72. I don't know why I even said that. Is $39.99, which means, Chandra, you take it. Because, well, I mean, Technically, you, you, we all, you, you still so lose, but you're, but you're the closest. I don't know how the prices right work. Oh, I should have said fucking $1. I would have won. Yeah. There's a yodeler, and you do some Plinko, and yeah, that's Plinkos. prices right. I think that's actually a really good price for this game. Yeah. 40 bucks. I would pay $40 for it. Um, I think that it is a shame. This game is perfect for PSN. Like, yeah. I feel like this yeah. is like a perfect fifteen dollar game yeah. for PSN. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel well, they like, don't even have the Parappa games on the PlayStation Network. Yeah, right now, which that's is, also weird. Yeah, because those mm-hmm. are, uh, and I mean, they consider those part of their flagship franchises because they put it in their Smash Brothers ripoff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> super, super Smash Brothers PlayStation Edition. Yeah, he was yeah. in there. He looked really weird in that one because he was a little bit more modeled 3D. He wasn't flat. Yeah. They kind of did that in Parappa 2 when it was on the PS2. I didn't play like, that. Yeah. Cause like, it's I not 100% <laughs> just a flat line. Like, there's just a little bit of thickness no, to the paper. No, it's not. It's supposed to be flat. Yeah, it's it's better on the PS1, I feel. But I never played it's always better on a Parappa PS1. game. I think you'd like it. I think that I would They're also. They're really good. They're really yeah. good. And they have really catchy music. The, that's one of the things, like, there's only. It's all in your mind. There's only, like, six songs on any of the Parappa. Or it's, like, between six and eight on any of those. Yeah. Like, I'm Jammer Lammy had six. And then there's, like, remixes where you can play as Parappa. And they're, like, different because you're not just playing a guitar along with it. But, yeah, like, that, and that was one of the things with this game. There's only. 10 songs. Right. You know, so I'm just kind of like, oh man, I wish there was more. Because yeah. clearly Coil knows what they're doing. Yeah, know? no, I 100% agree. I wonder if I can find like one of their albums somewhere or something like that. Probably. I still occasionally will remember Chop Chop Master Onion <laughs> from Parappa. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. He's so adorable. Those, they get stuck in your head, man. It's 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 good songs. Well, like even in uh, Super Smash Brothers PlayStation Edition, um, <laughs> <laughs> hit Parappa stage is it'll like explode and then there's Chop Chop Master <laughs> Onion. It's awesome. And you see like his little onionettes shouts. I don't know. Like they're just dancing around. I'm ready to know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Get on it, man. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. It's a really good game. Thanks for being on, you guys. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us. Driving up late. Fun. Like cause it's 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 near, it's, it's midnight. Almost midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I don't have yeah. a job interview or anything tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have Sunday off. <laughs> nice. This is my weekend off. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks yeah, for listening. Thank you for nope, letting nope. us in. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Fuck you. You're not any of the show now. <laughs> Shandra just pulls out a gun. It's just like, no, we're going to keep going. <laughs> if I have a concealed carry. I probably am. <laughs> it's thick. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> and it's coming against you. <laughs> And it's that needs black. to be in the show notes. There, like, no, I, I can find don't that. Don't tell people. No, don't tell people what to do. <laughs> no, I want those for the show notes. <laughs> I'm just gonna Google "thick and hard" and whatever yeah. person that pops up. Show notes. Yes. Please do it with Safe Search on because I think you'll come up with funnier results. <laughs> oh man! I want everyone out there to Google "naked sword." Yeah, just Google that. Is that like a flesh sword? It's a naked sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Google this. <laughs> At work. Full screen. Of course. Yeah, of course. I'll wait for my boss to be in his office, which is right next to mine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sound way up. Oh, man. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, or SoundCloud. So don't miss the next episode. Uh, I'm Mario not... Tennis. Mario Tennis? Mm-hmm. All right. Mario Tennis. Dorkley's like 19th ranked game, I think. Okay. Something like that. I feel like we're <laughs> mowing through this like fast. I, I uh, was list. thinking that earlier today, but that's just because we came off of like a, a list of 100. 100 games, <laughs> yeah. And like 80% of those games were not great, I mm-hmm. feel like. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a lot longer. It was like it was a list of 100, but it felt like a list of 500. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> you know what we still like? We still need them. Biggest marketplace would be five star written iTunes reviews. We got another one. Oh yeah. I'm happy to happy to say that now we're up mm-hmm. to 108. Mm-hmm. Only 100, 100 and some odd <laughs> from from me watching Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting there. 
Just but create extra accounts. That's, that's, I'm Everyone, totally fine with not, that. We're not we're not promoting that. that but <laughs> if no, you, you guys aren't saying it. I'm saying right. it. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you want to follow Chandra's advice, you can. But we're not promoting it. Go go to like a county <laughs> fair. Just keep opening up credit cards. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's as many cool. as you can get. Uh, a college job fair, you can totally do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. But we try to further incentivize you because on that five star written iTunes review, if there's a game you want us to play, or a guest host you want on that, or or both. You can you can plan out the whole episode. It's fine. Whatever you put on there, we promise we will get to it eventually. eventually. Don't worry, guys. Like Tyler said, we're going to be back. We're going to be talking about some Mario Tennis. Uh, in the meantime, if you can't get enough Tadpog goodness, you can always find us on tadpog.com. That's where the show notes live. We're going to have something called Naked Sword on there. <laughs> um, make sure you look at it at work, apparently. Uh, we're also going to have... I'm definitely going to give Tyler the link to Scroonicorn. That's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> like, oddly hot. Um, <laughs> just go there. Just go there. G- get us some traffic on our site. We really appreciate it. Um, you can also find us on Facebook. We're at facebook.com slash tadpog. Uh, there's a lot of cool people there doing a lot of cool shit. Um, Tyler will normally make an episode post. Mm-hmm. That's like a really excellent place to tell us how you felt about this episode. Anyone listening out there play Guitar Man before? Uh, and if not, let us know if you would play Guitar Man based on our um, really like rapey conversation about it. <laughs> <laughs> there's one guy that's just super consent. into it. And Some might say overly creepy. rapey conversation about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the game's really good. Uh, the game's really good. I would check it out. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. We are at Tadpog underscore podcast. It's cumbersome, I realize. Uh, thank you for everybody, uh, to everybody who's retweeting us, uh, especially our episode posts. Um, Soul Sister Yarn Sorceress uh, is here with us, who's probably uh, one of our biggest retweeters. So uh, <laughs> we really appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, and also, you're also the person who talks to me on the toilet the most. So, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for that as well. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, you can follow us as well, listener, and talk to me on the toilet too. Um, <laughs> I'll be on the really awful one at work. So <laughs> I'll play The Simpsons on the toilet. So yeah. I'm I'm totally unreachable. Not the not the phone game. You just like <laughs> read fan I, <laughs> I have figurines yeah. that spray with me in the in the bathroom. You're like in the bathtub. <laughs> I poop here now. <laughs> you can call us if you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we're actually going to be doing uh, another all call in show soon. I think we got one. We pushed the one back a week so mm-hmm. that we could do this episode. Um, so it's going to be really soon. If you want to give us a call and leave us a voicemail, chances are if we uh, don't have too many, it'll probably we'll probably play it on that show. Uh, you can call us at 270 883 2555. Try to keep it to like three minutes. Uh, we love questions, they are the best. Um, so Golden Girls, Ninja Turtles, you know the drill. Or if you want to throw us something new, Sailor Moon, Digimon. I mean, these are things that mm-hmm. I barely know anything about, so they could be really horrible or good answers. We're going to have to watch all of Sailor Moon and Digimon. <laughs> reading uh, porn. And what? And reading porn. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need more erotic fiction on this show. Mm-hmm. I feel mm-hmm. like, Chandra, you're, we, we, we need to hear from you again. Okay. Um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I <laughs> She's got doing tet- a lot of research. I, Good. Yeah. Good. A lot of Tetrises, fucking people. Good. Clippy. Good. I love all of these things. <laughs> just, just stacks of erotica in her house. <laughs> not good enough she's like a hoarder it's just enough. like her uh, quality of life has gone down hoarder uh. i sit there at work just going on my kindle app just what reading <laughs> terrible erotic while i'm supposed to be working Sa- saving lives <laughs> ah shit people don't need labs don't, doctors don't need that shit <laughs> Oh man, we got a Patreon. Mm-hmm. We do this thing where you can where you can give us money if you want to. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not required, obviously, uh, but we really do appreciate it. Uh, if, if you feel like we're doing a good job, like that is the best way to support the show, so that we can pretty much just buy a whole bunch of pizza and eat it. But uh, Tyler, you're pretty adamant about like actually improving the quality mm-hmm. of the show, mm-hmm. where I would rather just squander the money. <laughs> um, it gives just, you a warm, fuzzy feeling when you give. 
on Patreon. I say that as someone who does that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, by the way. Uh, It gives me a warm, fuzzy (laughs) feeling, too, because I'm like, holy shit, someone likes the show enough to, like, actually give money. That is amazing. As coming from, like, one of the cheapest people on (laughs) this planet, that's a big deal to me. So, like, I really do. I I love when people donate because it... it, I love when people give me money. I love it. It's it's amazing. (laughs) It's amazing. So if you want to do that... um, Throw money at me like a whore. (laughs) I will dance for it. Uh, You you can, of course, do that at patreon.com slash tadpog. I think we've been talking about doing, like, bonus, some bonus episodes for Patreon people. Yeah. We were going to do that with two more horrors, but then we didn't think it was good enough. So. Right. <laughs> that had a pretty good response. You did a really good job editing that yeah, show. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, it only took like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready to do it again? <laughs> I could. <laughs> Just don't sleep. Just edit forever. <laughs> if, if we did a D&D podcast about what it would be like, yeah. how are we going to close it out? Guys, what do you think? I think we need to do it like the lady from uh, the... But wait, what about the song? Uh Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. We kind of like... Sycamore Drive is going to send us like a really nasty letter at some point. We're like, hey, uh, you guys haven't... You guys have almost forgotten like six times. (laughs) (laughs) And And actually only forgotten once, but you come really close like six times. (laughs) So, Chandra. (laughs) Our theme song is called... Moves. Paul, who is it by? Sycamore Drive. And then both of you, where can a link to that track be found? Tadpog.com. I was going to say the show notes, tadpog.com. You have to be specific. <laughs> Judges? <laughs> I wish I had a bell to ring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, so just everyone listening, pretend a bell just rang. <laughs> German judge says no. no. <laughs> everyone else is fine. <laughs> so we're going to close it out. Like, you want to do the, yeah, the you the, win? Yeah, the you win voice. <laughs> the orgasming Yeah, the woman orgasming Oh, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shandra's getting herself ready. Um, <laughs> just I know. Just <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is what you were born for. Exactly. <laughs> when I, everyone who's listening... I mean, of course you're going to be paying attention to what Shandra's doing, but just remember that she hasn't played the game. <laughs> so this is like just completely without a point of reference what you're about to do. <laughs> okay. I heard you guys talk about it. I think that's close enough. Perfect. <laughs> so until next time. Tropical, Tropical Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> Oh, I was God. trying to go quiet to make sure to really stand out. Yeah. We've listened to every episode you've done with Nicole. We know your trick. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the word. He wrote a book where a lady gets fucked by a bunch of Tetris pieces. Nice. Tetra Nemo is the proper name. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, she gets fucked. Fucked. Yeah, it, it's weird. Like, <laughs> like four there, of them. Yeah, because there's, 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 there's our stinger. <laughs>